Yeah, and you got a lot of wisdom, bro. When you talk, I actually discovered you from you talking and you know what I'm saying, spitting the game. That. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I actually didn't know that. you was a rapper until recently, you know what I'm saying? Actually right. until the Rio record. Right. I'm from Dallas. You know okay, what I'm saying? Nah, I get it, I get it. So uh it actually wasn't until then I like, damn, this nigga rap. Like yeah. cause of the game. Like where do you get the wisdom and shit from? Cause that shit probably make you go viral that's, in a that's different really, way. It's it's crazy cause that's really how my platform come about. Like it's so many people doing music. But not enough people giving out the real. So it's like when people hear it real, their ears catch to it before they hear music. Like you yeah. hear a, a million songs a day. I'm like, I, I feel like, I feel like at least four with, with the demographic, the market that I'm in, I feel like at least three to four posts out of ten posts is gonna be somebody trying to promote themselves as an artist or from music. If it ain't hand shaking, if it ain't drugs, if it ain't smoking, if it ain't money, if it ain't scamming. It, it, it's got something to do with music, yeah, and yeah. but and he ain't gonna always come across a uh, make it right. Yeah. He ain't gonna always come across a post where you got a nigga with goals, you got a nigga with fa ta face tattoos, and he's yeah, speaking, speaking real. real you shit. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. not only just speaking real, he gotta be some shit that that a motherfucker can like. They, they can relate to, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, Cause I like what you were saying. You just made a post, I believe it was yesterday, you was talking about niggas inboxing you and shit. Yeah, yeah. And how stupid that shit is. Yeah, and I was like, don't understand. it wasn't even like, it wasn't no shit to like offend a nigga. Right, like, right. Like at first I thought that's what you, where you was going with it, but mm -hmm. a nigga, if a nigga really listened to that, you was really like telling them some shit that could help them, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't understand. I didn't understand. It's like, I just be trying to speak from experience, bro. Yeah. Like, I was that artist that was in niggas DM and I couldn't understand, but now, now that the tables are flipped and I'm the one that's getting the DMs, I'm like, yeah. nigga, I got I got a son I take care of that I got full custody of. Yeah. I got a I got people on my team and labels that I gotta make sure they get get paid. Uh, I, I got shows, I got features, I got I gotta go do stuff with kids, I gotta go do I got a lot going on, so to sit here and try and take time out my day to just listen to a nigga who probably ain't even gonna take the advice and, you know, do nothing with it or try to help. It's like I do my part and trying to say, listen, you wanna tell somebody you serious, it's a game. This is a, not a game, this is business. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Money is business, music is business, like this is a music game. Like anytime you doing something that's business, Money and business always go hand in hand. So yeah. you ain't talking about no money, bro. We really can't talk because you ain't really show me that. I don't know you. I don't, I don't even know half these niggas enough yeah. to owe, like, you know what I mean? For them to feel entitled like I own something. I give you game. I'm teaching you how to make your own fishing rod to go get your fish. If you don't want to go do that, yeah. then, you know, you need to go do something else. Now, are you uh, born and raised in Atlanta? Yeah, west side. Oh, okay. Like, uh, how, the, how does that work, man? Tell me about the different sides of Atlanta and then, like, you know, uh, I guess coming up, is it just like trapping? Is that is that the only, cause that's the same story we be hearing. It's just like you come up in Atlanta, trap, yeah, and then right. you gonna, uh, you say what? Make that right, Okay. Right. Gonna, you gonna bust, you gonna, uh, you know, come up, trap, and then start rapping and flip that shit. Is that like, is that pretty much the, the, the way it is out here? Or is it other avenues, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's definitely other avenues, it's just, uh, well, first, with me being from the west side, I mean, I can't really speak on everybody else's experience as far yeah. as, like, where they from. You know, I feel like different sides catch on late, but it's real niggas everywhere. So, it's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I can just pretty much vouch for my side of town, which, of course, I'm always feel like it's the best side of town, regardless yeah. of what everybody else feel like. I feel like majority of the uh, people from out of Atlanta originated from the west side, like, you know what I'm saying? Shot of low, T.I., like, right, like, it go on and on, like, and if they didn't, they, they had something to do with being on the west side, whether yeah. they went to school, whether they, that's where they hung out at, it's like, you know, you got countless amount of people, um, as far as, um, what, would, what was the that, other thing? Like, you just, like, damn, is, like, trapping, is that, like, super oh. normal out here, like, it just, that's, it was, that's what me. you might mainly hear about, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, well, to me, at one time, because it's like, of course, like, like, Back when like we we came up with the trap music, that's when like dope was bumping. Like of course yeah. you had like at that time right before BMF got locked up, you had you know the screens were flooding. Like yeah yeah yeah, it wasn't that hard to get dope. Like I, you know what I'm saying for the OG for the old heads and stuff like that for the older niggas and stuff like that, it wasn't that that hard for them to flood the streets with dope. You know what I'm saying that was the money maker at the time. You know yeah. the time the, the streets then kind of dried up, so you don't really got. You know, you got scamming, like, nigga, got switching yeah, hustle up. Shit, yeah. You got different, different hustles. So it's like, 
but everybody had a story behind why they was trapping and they had a different story about what was going on on a different side of town you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, so yeah. it's like yeah the, 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 the trapping the trapping for atlanta the trapping for you know it, it played a little okay it, it played a big part of it played a big part of like atlanta and like atlanta the story yeah, yeah. and then